So the question is, if Chef P has gone rogue, and I'd put money on it if I were a betting woman, what is Dave's Gourmet going to do about it? I'm officially putting us on litigation watch. Who hasn't heard of Pink Sauce by now? Because it was all over these social media streets two years ago. You couldn't log into Instagram or TikTok or any one of those other platforms without seeing that hot pink fuchsia magenta colored mystery condiment. It was absolutely wild how this thing went viral. Hi guys, welcome to Presume Legal. I'm Misha Janice. I'm an entrepreneur and an attorney licensed in New York and Florida. So what is the pink sauce? According to its creator, Chef P, it's a food condiment that goes on everything edible. Now the ingredients originally listed on Chef P's website included dragon fruit, sunflower seed oil, chili, honey, and garlic. Sounds pretty good, right? Chef P admitted there was a little bit of dairy product in the pink sauce, particularly powdered milk, which common sense dictates needs to be handled in a certain way for food safety purposes. Additionally, although Chef P proudly stated that there weren't any preservatives or additives in the pink sauce, she shouldn't have been quite so proud of that because that turned into a huge problem. The sauce quickly spoiled. And out of that spoilation and improper handling, the drama ensued. So who is Chef P? Chef P, whose government name is Veronica Shaw, is the creator of the pink sauce. And although there have been other pink sauces created before hers and since hers, hers went viral via TikTok fame. Now, Chef P is a self-proclaimed private chef in South Florida because everything has to have a Florida link. <laughs> now, the original pink sauce was sold for $20 per bottle and it was shipped direct to consumer and sold from her website. Now the sauce was definitely eye-catching and it earned the views of millions of people on TikTok. And I mean, I have to say as a lover of all things like hot pink, magenta, fuchsia colored, it was a beautiful color, the original color. That was the extent of my personal admiration for the product. Like I don't even have a TikTok account and this thing still came to my attention. But how it came to my attention was because of all the bad reviews, right? The bad reviews posted by people who had ordered this mystery pink sauce, they were really bad, you guys. You see, Chef P didn't expect for the pink sauce to gain the notoriety and all the attention that it did in the short time that it gained it. As a result, corners were cut. This leads to my very first Better Biz takeaway. Now these Better Biz takeaways are going to highlight situations that people got themselves into that they probably regret. And the lessons, oftentimes business lessons, but also life lessons that can be learned from those situations. Now there's no reason to simply repeat the mistakes of others, right? And there's no reason that even while we're being entertained on social media that we can't learn something and gain knowledge. So know better, do better. Now, my very first better biz takeaway is when starting a new company, don't cut corners. Those jagged edges of your business will cut you and may be fatal to the success of your business. Now, how did Chef P cut corners? Well, the lack of any preserving agents in the product. Although there was maybe some citric acid in the pink sauce, citric acid alone is not enough to preserve the milk product ingredients. And we all know what happens when dairy products start to go bad. Additionally, it was unclear where Chef P was making the pink sauce. She claimed that she was producing the sauce in an FDA approved facility, but that claim was 
quite easily debunked. Now, it would have been possible for Chef P to make certain products in her home, according to the Florida Department of Health, under their cottage food products exception. Now, Florida law allows individuals to use their unlicensed home kitchens to produce for sale certain foods that present a low risk of foodborne illnesses. But the types of food allowable to be produced under this exception all have something in common. They don't contain raw materials, raw ingredients. So for example, you can make and sell breads, rolls, cakes, candies, jams, pastas, dried herbs, and seasonings. Chef P's pink sauce didn't fit into any of those approved cottage food products. The last of the major corners that was cut had to do with Chef P's shipping of the pink sauce. They say that common sense is not so common, but it's just inexcusable knowing, especially being in South Florida, that shipping a liquid product, a product with no preservatives, with dairy ingredients, shipping this product with no protective seals, no refrigeration, no ice packs, no dry ice across these United States of America, mm. The fact that pink sauce all over the country was received exploded, rancid, and obviously unusable is not surprising. Now, miraculously, Chef P got away with not being sued for her negligence, product liability, breach of warranty, product defect, or violation of Florida Department of Health regulations. She faced a lot of backlash online for the deficiencies of the viral product. Y'all, I'm scared for the pink sauce lady right now. I'm going to show you what I found. I'm going to cite everything, but I need to stress this right now. I believe in entrepreneurs. I want them to succeed. But when something legally doesn't make sense, I want to share it with you because I want to protect you. Because if someone gets sick from this, I am scared for the person who gets sick and the person who owns this business. Okay, so when you sell stuff that's non-commercial, you sell it through your kitchen, there's something called cottage law. It allows you to sell these items out of your kitchen with regulations. Cakes, cookies, cupcakes, pies, jams, preserves, stuff that goes on top of food, stuff like that. But I'm seeing so many errors in this nutritional label, seeing 444 servings, which is 14.4 grams, which almost makes 6,300 something grams in a full bottle, which is inaccurate. And if these small details were overlooked, I'm looking at quality control now. I'm kind of scared. The hue keeps changing and I'm scared for the people consuming it. And it's so hard to find a nutritional label on the website. I mean, that should be readily available. I, the hue keeps changing. <laughs> There's misprints all over the labels. The macros and micros do not add up. I'm genuinely scared for the people consuming this. So people were legitimately concerned that Chef P was selling a product that could be hazardous to their health. And her demeanor in responding to accusers at times was very much like, you know, it's not intentional. I'm not trying to scam anybody. I got in over my head. I want to do better. I need help tightening up this ship. Everything happened so fast, yada, yada, yada. So while she kind of apologized for the questionable nutrition facts and the misspellings on the bottle, she spelled vinegar, vinegar, for the listing of amount of servings as 444 instead of 30 servings, and the list went on, Chef P apologized and said it was miscommunications with her team and paused production. Enter stage left, Dave's Gourmet. Only a couple months after the pink sauce rose to viral fame, and subsequently drew criticism for its shortcomings and the food safety concerns. Dave's Gourmet, a company with 30 years in the food industry and maker of hot sauces and pasta sauces, saw an opportunity to partner with Chef P and make pink sauce great again. The two parties entered into an exclusive agreement where Dave's Gourmet assumed responsibility for producing the pink sauce at a commercial scale under the required food manufacturing guidelines and selling the sauce via retail and e-commerce channels. Chef P's responsibility under their agreement was to continue with the marketing efforts, driving the social media for the business, as well as participating in you know, the major decisions for the production. I have to give it to Chef P. She did a phenomenal job creating a buzz organically via TikTok for her pink sauce. So her job was to continue hyping the product. 
Now, Dave's Gourmet was quickly able to reformulate the sauce to the color and flavor profile initially acceptable to, to Chef P, as well as change some of the ingredients to make the sauce less complicated, dairy-free, and shelf-stable under FDA guidelines and produce it all in an SQF certified facility. One year after the initial botched launch of the pink sauce, the new partnership between Chef P and Dave's Gourmet found success, pending an exclusive retail agreement with Walmart for 4,300 stores. Now, remember how I told you Chef P was selling pink sauce for $20 per bottle? Well, Walmart's list price was originally around $7 and change per bottle. So things seemed like they were going well. Issues were fixed, better price point, everybody happy. Well, not so fast because Chef P started complaining about not being paid. Dave's Gourmet not treating her well and messing up her sauce, not including her in important decisions, not sharing information with her, stealing her recipe and allegations of fraud. It's like long story short, these people defrauded me. So I would have to sue them for fraud because it's not only the calculation of the royalty, but it's everything else. Hey y'all, it's time for me to explain what's going on and also how you're not supporting me by purchasing this, right? Okay, so to start the story off, me and Dave's Gourmet has been in disagreement about this since January of 2023. When the pink sauce first went into stores, Dave's Gourmet wasn't sharing information with me, simple information, like as far as how many bottles were in the first purchase order. Um, and that's when I knew something wasn't right. Now, the quality issue began with the first run. So the first run, they did a run of 5,000 units and everyone was complaining because the sauce was like orange. Dave's Gourmet told me, rest assured, we're going to be able to fix the color issue and the color issue was never fixed. Now, in the creation of the pink sauce, y'all know, I compared the pink sauce as a Beyonce sauce. Like, this is the Beyonce of the sauces. When I created the pink sauce, it was about marketing. It was about this being something new, something the world has never seen. And that means if it's an innovative brand, then you have to have the proper marketing strategies in place. And you also have to be able to tell a story to your audience where they can understand. Dave Gourmet left me completely. I had a... I had to take a long time to think about like, like how I'm going to talk about this due to the fact that uh, they've crossed me so much that I have no choice but to file suit. Right now, I am not in a financial position where I can file suit. She even started a GoFundMe to garner donations. Let's take a look at that. Hi, my name is Veronica Shaw. I am the founder of the Pink Sauce LLC, one of my most one of the most viral sauce sensations of 2022. As a young entrepreneur with big dreams, I followed my intuition and went forth towards toward my dreams to create something new. I made a few mistakes on the way, which lead me to trust a company that is trying to take everything away from me. They lied to me. They are not paying me and are not being transparent about records. I've tried on multiple occasions to try and come to one accord with them, but they refuse to reimburse me for marketing expenses that I spent my own funds towards. I've been silenced and financially sabotaged. I'm a single mom and I do everything for my kids. Right now, I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on their own. My mom is on disability and she has been giving us $20 just to get by on a daily basis. School is a few days away. I haven't been able to get my kids clothes or anything. I'm currently facing an eviction that has gone into default. The sheriffs can come to my door any day now. I need legal help. They are refusing to pay me the royalty that is owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. But Chef P's complaints were never substantiated. In fact, Dave's Gourmet provided evidence that seemingly rebut Chef P's claims. Chef P took to social media to record video upon video making claims and allegations against Dave's Gourmet. Finally, Dave's Gourmet released a detailed timeline 
with facts that appear to directly rebut Chef P's claims. Let's take a look at that timeline now. I love a good timeline. In August 2022, Dave Scormay signed an agreement with Veronica Shaw and her entities Pink Sauce LLC and Flavor Crazy Inc., in which they were responsible for promoting Pink Sauce through the digital content, requirement to post about Pink Sauce on social media at least three times a week, and Dave Scormay was in charge of achieving the required shelf stability for the product, making the product acceptable for commercial production and following FDA's food production guidelines, production, and sales of the Pink Sauce product online and to retailers. At the time, Shaw was not producing pink sauce because FDA instructed her to cease all production due to quality concerns. She was making pink sauce in her kitchen and was shipping it without refrigeration in the heat of summer, and the sauce frequently went bad during shipping as evidenced by many social media posts from buyers. The sauce was not shelf-stable and was not safe for shipping without refrigeration. There was a huge negative publicity online and on social media due to the quality issues that Shaw had experienced. According to the agreement, Shaw received an upfront payment of $45,000 as a part of the agreement for Dave's Gourmet to pursue the sales of pink sauce. According to the agreement, Shaw was responsible for all the refunds for the products that predated the agreement. After the agreement was signed, we learned that neither Shaw nor her entities had enough funds to cover all the refunds to the people who never received the products that she was responsible for, according to the agreement. There was a hole put by Shopify and PayPal on most of the cash in Shaw's accounts due to multiple customer complaints, and even the cash that was there was mostly not available to pay refunds. Dave's Gourmet couldn't see the customers disappointed with no product and no refund, so it provided approximately $30,000 to cover the refunds, even though this was Shaw's responsibility. Some of these funds came back to Dave's Gourmet later in the year after the hold on the Shaw's account was lifted by PayPal and Shopify. Prior to entering the partnership with Dave's Gourmet, Shaw reviewed and negotiated the agreement with the help from her attorney. According to the agreement, Shaw receives royalties that depend on the gross profit that the company makes on the sales of pink sauce, and there is a milestone payment if certain goals are met. The royalty payments are based on gross profit because at the time, we did not know what the pink sauce product would cost given that it contains expensive ingredients like dragon fruit that needed to be factored in. When we negotiated this agreement, we walked Shaw and her attorney through the difference between sales and gross profit to make sure that everyone is on the same page. All payments have been communicated and paid on time in accordance with the agreement. Dave's Gourmet also advised Shaw that pink that pink sauce royalties should not be her only source of income as they can fluctuate, and she should have a regular job to make sure that she has financial stability. At the time, Dave's Gourmet did not know if any sales would be generated from pink sauce. In the fall of 2022, Shaw was struggling financially. Dave's Gourmet decided to be helpful and over the course of several months provided Shaw with multiple cash advances that total more than $40,000 without charging Shaw interest or fees. These advances were supposed to be upset, offset, by the future royalties that Shaw was going to earn. In March 2023, Shaw communicated that she had spent the entirety of her previous advances and that she needed another advance to feed her children and avoid being evicted. Dave's Gourmet sent her two advances that total $5,000, but again, again encouraged her to continue working on her other job and pursue her private chef career she had been doing prior to partnering to commercially produce pink sauce. Shaw wanted to know more about the activities related to pink sauce at Dave's Gourmet. In the beginning of 2023, the Dave's Gourmet team set up a weekly standing, meet, weekly standing meeting to discuss the brand strategy and collaborate with Shaw. Shaw attended only a couple of these meetings and has not been in attendance since. February 2023, Shaw requested over $10,000 in marketing expenses to throw herself a birthday party and also asked Dave's Gourmet to pay for her dress that cost more than $800 and shoes which cost over $600 that would potentially be used in a TikTok video. Dave's Gourmet suggested a smaller budget and because Dave's Gourmet would not approve these expenses, Shaw distanced herself from Dave's Gourmet, Dave Gourmet's collaborative efforts collaborative marketing efforts. February 2023, Shaw attempted to submit business expense reports for personal expenses, 
like buying four pairs of sneakers or expensing her entire grocery bills. And they attached the receipts. Dave's gourmet informed her that such activities are fraudulent and asked a lot of questions related to receipts submitted. Shaw did not respond to any of those questions. May 2023, due to the large advances on Shaw's royalty payment and the deduction of refunds covered by Dave's Gourmet related to the period prior to this agreement, the balance of milestone royalty payment owed to Shaw came to $666.86. Dave's Gourmet decided to hold off on deducting $10,000 in advances from the royalties due until a later period so that Shaw would have more funds to cover her needs at the time and instead paid Shaw $10,666.68. This balance and all payments processed have been outlined and communicated to Shaw consistently. Dave's Gourmet deducted the above mentioned advances of $10,000 at the second quarter royalty payment. The Q2 royalty payment due was less than $10,000. So the net effect was that Shaw had a negative balance of $6,005.80 that she owed to Dave's Gourmet due to the previous advances taken. Contrary to Shaw's belief, both Q1 and Q2 royalty payments are calculated in exactly the same way. The only difference is the deduction of the advance for Q2. We clearly explained this deduction to Shaw in our email and offered to walk her and her attorney through the calculation. June 2023, Shaw submitted an expense report to Dave's Gourmet that included a request for payment for her time dedicated to making social media content since October 2022, 1,400 hours at $90 per hour in Shaw's invoice. Such request was outside of the terms of the agreement as Shaw's compensation per the agreement was through royalties, and there was no provision to compensate her on, an, on a per hour basis. Dave Gourmet asked for clarifications related to the various other expenses listed by Shaw in the invoice, but backups, receipts, and explanations were not provided. Shaw informed Dave Gourmet that she did not need to provide us with receipts or explanations to get reimbursed. Dave Gourmet reminded Shaw that business expenses need to be pre-approved by Dave Gourmet. Dave Gourmet has kept this timeline of information private until Shaw went to social media with defamatory statements regarding the integrity of our business, which has put us in an unfortunate position to share details that would have otherwise remained private. In total, Shaw has received one hundred and forty-seven thousand dollars four hundred. Wait, one hundred forty-seven thousand four hundred forty-nine dollars and thirty-seven cents in payments from her partnership with Dave's Gourmet and Pink Sauce since August of 2022 to date. We initially told the journalists that she received more than $120,000 and now have tracked all the payments and are sharing the precise number with all the bank confirmations in this link. It is our understanding that Shaw probably spent about $10,000 of this amount to buy video recording equipment, props, clothes, and accessories that would be used to promote Pink Sauce but we have not seen the receipts confirming this. Because of all the advances provided to Shaw, the funds sent to Shaw exceeded what she has earned under the terms of the agreement. In addition, Shaw had certain obligations in the agreement related to her social media activities that she has violated multiple times. Dave Gourmet reminded Shaw multiple times that she needs to adhere to the terms of the agreement, but she ignored Dave Gourmet requests. After Shaw went to social media to create the illusion that she is not being compensated properly, Dave's Gourmet communicated to both Shaw and her attorney that Dave's Gourmet will cover the costs of Shaw's legal counsel to go through the provisions of the agreement and the payments to confirm that the payments were correct, and Dave's Gourmet is following the agreement. Because this is Shaw's legal counsel, we cannot pay him directly, and that is why we propose to reimburse Shaw for those expenses. The proposal was rejected by Shaw. Update, September 29, 2023. Dave's Gourmet's consistent support of Shaw was rooted in our desire for a successful partnership. Our primary objective through this partnership was to ensure the successful commercialization of Pink Sauce while upholding our company's values of integrity, transparency, and commitment to our partners and customers. Unfortunately, despite Dave's Gourmet's continuous efforts to maintain a constructive relationship with Shaw, 
Our efforts were met with recurrent challenges. In August 2023, we sent multiple messages to Shaw and her attorney suggesting creative ways to mitigate the issues and have an amicable working relationship. In return, we received, we received a message from Shaw that Dave Gourmet would need to pay her $1.5 million if we want to continue selling pink sauce. The current agreement in place is evergreen, and Dave's Gourmet does not need any special extension payments, renewals, or permissions from Shaw to continue selling pink sauce under the terms of the agreement, so Shaw's request was odd and did not make any sense. On August 25th, Shaw notified Dave's Gourmet that she was being evicted from her apartment that weekend due to unpaid rent. Dave's Gourmet sh scheduled a call with Shaw and for approximately two hours discussed our proposal on how the relationship could work in the future. This proposal required Shaw to post the pink sauce related content on social media twice a week and included bi-weekly payments to Shaw to provide her with a stable level of income for a period of time. She agreed in principle with Dave Gourmet's proposal, but wanted her attorney to finalize the details. Shaw then asked for assistance with her overdue rent. Dave Gourmet wanted to be helpful, but hesitated given the prior history with Shaw. Dave Gourmet preferred to wait until the new agreement with Shaw was fully in place before providing any help, but that was not possible over the weekend since Shaw's attorney would need to be involved and he was not available on the weekend. And by Monday, Shaw would have been evicted. In the spirit of future cooperation and creating goodwill with Shaw, Dave's Gourmet took another chance on Shaw and paid off her past due rent, totaling $14,000. With this additional payment, the total funds sent to Shaw equals $161,449.37. That weekend, and prevented her and her children from being evicted. That backfired for Dave's Gourmet. No surprise here, given the history. The following week, Dave's Gourmet sent a legal draft of our proposal discussed on the call with Shaw to her attorney. Shaw indicated that her attorney would come back to us, but he never did. In the meantime, we received another strange demand from Shaw for $250,000. And then she posted her recent video on social media with false accusations directed at Dave's Gourmet. None of them have any merit and bear in mind, she posted this video shortly after Dave's Gourmet helped her and her children not get evicted. We received many messages from people encouraging us to sue Shaw for defamation. We are considering all options, including a lawsuit, but also are mindful of the distractions that it will cause for our organization and the difficulty of collecting any court awarded damages from Shaw given that she has spent all the funds. We are a family-owned business. Our reputation is dear to us. We are asking for your support. Shaw's GoFundMe page containing false claims is still live. We have reported Shaw's GoFundMe page for fraud. She lied that, th that she did not receive any payments, but now is admitting publicly that she has received over $120,000 in payments from Dave's Gourmet, just as we said. But... GoFundMe has not taken action to remove Shaw's page where she is asking for funds under false pretenses. Please consider reporting the page or asking for a refund if you have donated. Kyrie Irving, a basketball player from Dallas Mavericks, donated $24,000 to Shaw's GoFundMe campaign, probably without knowing the facts. We want other people to have factual information on this case prior to considering making a donation. We hope the people share the facts on social media about the sequence of events related to this matter so that Shaw can no longer spread misinformation about our company. Needless to say, we are very disappointed in the status of our partnership with Shaw, but we hope that you will still give us the opportunity to share our products with you. We have a huge selection of bold and flavor-packed hot sauces, pasta sauces, creamy hot sauces, olive oils, and more. Please give them a try, including pink sauce. You can see that it is sold at a lower price at retail now. We worked hard to bring it to market, and despite our challenges with Shaw, we have multiple other partners that are relying on us to drive its commercialization. It has a unique taste and puts an interesting twist on salads, fries, and chicken tenders. At this time, we are unsure how long we will continue selling it and don't want you to miss your chance to try it. 
So it looks like what happened was Dave's Gourmet paid Chef P over and above what it contractually was supposed to pay her and she blew the money. Some people are really, really bad at financial literacy, at budgeting, at stewardship of money. And it seems as if Chef P was one of those people. I'm not showing it here, but I did some background research, some digging on Chef P, and she has multiple eviction cases against her dating back years. So she really was not lying when she told Dave's Gourmet last August that she was being evicted because she was. Despite Dave's Gourmet paying her upwards of $161,000, she allegedly requested an additional $250,000 and then an additional $1.5 million to continue producing the pink sauce. The breakdown of the relationship really seems to begin after Dave's Gourmet refused to pay over $10,000 in marketing expenses to Chef P and insisted on improving expenses before they were made pursuant to their agreement. So with her disagreements with Dave's Gourmet unresolved, Chef P is calling herself the comeback kid. That's right. It seems as though she's taken it upon herself now to start over from scratch with new products, including, drum roll, a blue sauce. So my focus is starting over, giving you guys what I've seen in the beginning. The pink sauce was supposed to be here, like the real pink sauce, the vibrant, bright pink sauce, the amazing tasting pink sauce was supposed to be here last year. And as an entrepreneur, I'm having to pick up the pieces and start all over again. But I don't mind because I still have my business name. I still have my website and I'm the creator of the product, which means I'm going to fight for my brand. That's right, folks. She now has a pink sauce and a blue sauce, a sweet blue sauce and a sweet pink sauce. Her new products are not liquids. They're dry seasoning mixes that require additional ingredients, mixing, and measuring to achieve a finished product. The products are being sold for $20 for a one and a half ounce bag, just for a visual, because I sometimes have a hard time visualizing how much one and a half ounces is. I rummaged through my kitchen cabinet and I found a seasoning that is one and a half ounces big. So here, it's a regular pen. This is the size of one and a half ounces. Okay, it's nutmeg. Now the images on her site state that her products are being sold pursuant to Florida's cottage food exception. So that disclosure is an improvement. We saw earlier that the exception does allow for dry seasonings to be made in unregulated kitchens and sold so long as the packaging is properly marked and the label on the website appears to comply with that requirement. So where does this leave us? I have questions. I have questions that I'd love answered. I'm most curious about their agreement because I cannot imagine that their agreement would allow for Chef P to, one, disparage the original pink sauce product that Dave's Gourmet is selling, two, create, market, and sell a competing product, three, create, market, and sell the pink sauce herself, even if it is in a different form, using that same trade name. I mean, what IP rights were included in the agreement and were those rights exclusive? I can't fathom a company with 30 years experience not having a partnership agreement that covered them in each of those areas. So the question is, if Chef P has gone rogue and I'd put money on it if I were a betting woman, what is Dave's Gourmet going to do about it? Because I wouldn't be surprised at this point if Dave's Gourmet sued her for breach of contract and injunctive relief to prevent her from continuing her actions and for defamation. 
And from the facts that I've seen, and I admit there could be more that I'm unaware of, but from those facts, Dave's Gourmet might have a high likelihood of success on those claims. I'm officially putting us on litigation watch. And if and when it happens, we'll review it here on this channel. So we already went over the first Better Biz takeaway. Don't cut corners, right? The second Better Biz takeaway is to know who you're getting into bed with. Yes, in that way, but also in the business sense. When two parties enter into a partnership, a lot can go wrong. And some of that can be avoided simply by knowing who you're working with. Doing some basic due diligence using public records can reveal information that might have you second guess whether you wanna risk your business by partnering with the other party. And this goes both ways. Both businesses and individuals alike can have pasts that are not ideal and that might cause you concern. What can you do? How do you do this? You can request a background search. You can search public records for litigation involving the other party. Search federal courts for bankruptcy filings. Search official records to find judgments or liens against the party. These are all simple, easy methods of basic due diligence. If you find concerning information, at least you can make a decision about how you'd like to proceed if it's a risk worth taking. Knowledge is power, right? The third and last Better Biz takeaway that we can learn from this pink sauce situation is, and I'm taking it old school, silence is golden. Sometimes it's best to shut your mouth and discreetly handle your business. It's never going to be a good idea to double down, stick your feet in the sand and air dirty laundry to millions of people on social media when you're, you already know that you're in the wrong. That's exactly what Chef P's done. And she's being terribly ridiculed now just because of that. I honestly feel a little bad for her because she's become a laughing stock. Even if these new dry seasonings are legitimate, despite their priciness, it would take an act of God to rehabilitate her brand. Like perhaps a professional PR team could help her, but all that's to say, if she didn't put herself in the position she finds herself in now, we wouldn't even need to be discussing this. So, like I said, unless Dave's Gourmet just really wants nothing more to do with Chef P, and I would understand that. I'm fully expecting and would not be surprised to see a lawsuit coming out of this situation. Chef P has stated she would like to sue Dave's Gourmet, but I honestly don't see her making that happen. She's already said she doesn't have the money to initiate a lawsuit, and frankly, I'm not sure what attorney would agree to represent her? And I'm saying this only based on the facts that we know of. So that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you think of the Better Biz takeaways and share your own takeaways about this whole pink sauce, blue sauce situation in the comments. If you enjoyed this video or found any value in it, hit that subscribe button and like this video. All right. Until the next drop, take care. Peace.